As soon as you got involved, we started moving forward quickly. One of the things this show does is amplify our community's calls for change. And tonight we're focused on a military mom from Maryland. Her son's a soldier. She wanted to get his vehicle tested for emissions, but it turned out to be a hassle. She came to the she came to us rather with her story, and now lawmakers are taking action. Investigative reporter Laura Geller has been leading the charge for change on this story. So here we are today. I ask you to please pass the bill. House Bill 133. It allows service members to be exempt from Maryland emissions requirements if they are deployed or stationed in a state without a vehicle emissions program. It all started with Madeline Walgen Shedlick's story. Her son was stationed in Texas and deployed to the Middle East when his truck was scheduled for emissions testing. She got the notice. I called the NBA and they were really not quite sure what to do with me. Madeline says she was told she could fly to her son's base in Texas and drive the car back to Maryland, or her son could send a bunch of paperwork while he's fighting a war in the Middle East. It was a hassle. We brought her story to Chrissy Neiser with MDOT MVA, and today the two testified before a Maryland House committee. How did that feel? It felt really good. Urging them to make this law. Um, we all had one mission. Let's get this passed. You know, let's get let's move forward. And it was done so quickly. It, it, you don't think the government works too quickly, but it, it has in this case. There were no questions or objections from lawmakers. The story told itself that, you know, we all respect our military. We appreciate the sacrifices that they and their families make. And this is just one other way as a state that we can really show that appreciation and take one of those, you know, challenging issues off of their plate. Madeline believes this will not only help her son, who deploys again next month, but all who serve. Thank you for your support. We appreciate any help for our military families. The committee didn't vote on the legislation today. Neiser says that could happen as early as tomorrow. In Annapolis, Laura Geller, WUSA 9.